Yo, Andy Ruiz G checks Dillian White after his knockout loss to Alexander Povetkin. He says, stop playing the victim. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang. Let's get it. Andy Ruiz, he's not taking it lightly on Dillian White after he was brutally knocked out, single shot, one hit or quitter by Alexander Povetkin. You can argue he was winning the fight, but in the heavyweight division, one punch can change everything. And the way Andy Ruiz sees it, according to his verified page, make sure you guys follow him. He says, stop playing the victim card. Here's the tweet. And obviously this is about, someone even said, are you talking about Dillian White? We know is who he's talking about, bro. It's a subliminal, so he didn't attach a name, but he says, stop playing the victim card, bro. Right? And then if you had doubts that he was talking about Dillian White, just because he didn't tag him, he followed up by saying, you talk all this ish, you disrespect your opponents at weigh-ins, you post stupid memes, and now we got to feel sorry for you because you got knocked out? Get the uh, out of here. Get the out of here. So, you know, I figured he was talking about Dillian White when I seen the first tweet, but that's confirmation because he's the the only person of note who you know this this hit it's like the guess who game remember like do you have a mustache you're bert you're bert you know it is it's easy to see who he's talking about and it's funny ego stradamus strikes again this is literally what i've been telling you guys about dillian white and i think what what kind of prompted this is that dillian white he's done some recent interviews and he's basically saying and suggesting that people, they're like trying to poke fun at him and acting like jerks and things like that. But at the end of the day, this is what Dillian White has brought onto himself. It's that simple. Okay, Listen. There's a lot of people on social media talking rubbish. You got growing men like Frank Warren, Bob Iron, and those guys like laughing and gloating at the fact that I lost. Then you got Andy Ruiz. Who turned on fights with me, but no, I lost. He's happy that I've lost, so they don't have to fight me. You know, these guys are a bunch of cowards. Boxing's full of cowards. There's a lot of people. So he says Frank Warren, Bob Arum, and Andy Ruiz, they're all talking ish because I had lost to Povetkin. You know? But where was this same compassion when Deontay Wilder lost by knockout? And might I add, Deontay Wilder's loss to Tyson Fury. That is a lot more um, respectable because one, he lost on his feet. Dillian White was stretched out, like fell through the ropes, you know, like a, a gargoyle, like a statue, you know, and that's what they sign up for. Not to get knocked out, but they sign up and they know that's one of the potential outcomes. So Dillian White, I don't understand his angle. The UK energy in boxing is looking exceptionally weird to me. You do stuff like this. Dillian White and his team dressed up like Povetkin's team. Like Povetkin's team looked like one of those heist bank robber movies and decided to dress like this. So Dillian White thought it would be funny to have his team taunt Povetkin and dress like them. See, I'll show you Povetkin's team so you know. Look, this is Povetkin's team. So you're, you're con that's Povetkin's team and you can see Dillian White bit his outfit. So they were trying to taunt them and and during the weigh-in, Povetkin, he tried to shake his hand and Dillian White stood him up and later I think he later did this or when they first moved up, he did this. So after the fair after the stare down, Dillian White didn't shake his hand. And this behavior from Dillian White has been repeated. He's had a lot to say about Deontay Wilder. In fact, when Wilder lost and he didn't even lose in that fashion, and and most people think or many people, I'll say, believe Fury had something up with his glove, Glovegate 2.0. And he still didn't get knocked out like that. And this was Dillian White's um, reaction to Wilder's loss. I give him a bit more time than he needed, but I think he took a serious beating. He definitely needs surgery in his ears because his, his, his um, equilibrium is burst. In the aftermath of this fight. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing because he got, he got beat up so bad. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, I, 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 I said, you know 
away, yeah? He talks so much crap. He say he wants to kill someone. He wants to get a body in his record. He's the hardest puncher in the whole division. He, he could have beat Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali. He could say he could have beat all these guys in his prime. No, he couldn't. He, haven't, he don't have the stuff that them guys are. Them guys had incredible toughness, incredible boxing IQ, good movement, good jab. Good, good. Dal James well the had was just a good right hand. That, and because he's, he's tall and skinny, and a lot of people you fight is well overmatched, he just gets them by, by surprise when he just, um, <laughs> he just, he, he, he's just funny, man. It's just funny. This guy talks so much crap. So it's funny that Dillian White was laughing and rejoicing when Wilder lost to Tyson Fury. Again, he didn't lose like that. You could go watch the footage. You know, and and beyond that, Tyson Fury is six foot nine and beat Klitschko. So there's no real shame to lose to a guy who outweighs you by 50, 60 pounds. Dillian White looked physically bigger than Povetkin, and he was arguably winning the fight. Look, there's, there's them next to each other. Dillian White had longer arms. He's taller. He looked bigger. His arms look bigger. And the knockout was just vicious and brutal. And now like Andy Ruiz is saying, and other people like myself, now Dillian White is like, hey, you guys are being rude. And, and the UK has this like, woe is me type of attitude. Like, oh, you know, I seen Sky Sports posted something like, oh, he, he's Dillian White's taking it on the chin. And, you know, he's not hiding. I mean, what is he supposed to do? It, we all seen it. He lost. He lost convincingly. Povekian won. It was a brutal knockout. I mean, there's only so much you can do when it's that clear. Like, look, look, he was out. Lights out. You, you see what I'm saying? And then Sky Sports, I already made a video about it. They, that's why we, I can't show you no, no footage of it because they went through all of Instagram and anybody, including myself, that had posted the Dillian White knockout, you know, and paid attribution and credited it and credited the zone. They still flagged it and removed it so that's why you don't see it was all over bleacher report they had the knockout they had the knockout they had almost two million views but sky sports went around and flagged everybody so you know it's looking bad for the uk and i 1000 percent agree with andy ruiz he said you talk all this ish disrespect your opponents at weigh-ins like again not shaking hands post stupid memes and then now people are supposed to feel sorry for you it doesn't make sense. This is, it's like live by the sword, die by the sword. This is the worst type of person, in my opinion, somebody who could dish it out, but can't take it. Like I remember, in, come out to the Bay. If you guys um, are in the area, come out to the Bay. The Bay is different. So we would have roasting sessions where literally out of boredom, you know, and nothing to do or someone didn't, no one had a car or whatever. We would just roast each other. And some of the roasting sessions got pretty heated and pretty intense because you might say something super offensive about a person's family member or the way they look or something that strikes a chord with that person. So like I've been in, you know, near battles and stuff where you almost fought somebody because you, you, you know, they, they didn't like it. But the worst part is when somebody's roasting and the jokes that they're making about you is all good. And they don't feel no two ways about it. They're roasting you. And then when you start hitting them with, oh, that's why your sister did this. That's why your sister got an OnlyFans. And you start roasting them back. And they're like, man, don't be talking about my sister. And then now they want to fight you. You see what I'm saying? Now they want to fight you. Now it, it hit too close to home. But all's fair in love and world, war. Look, perfect example. These are posts. This is Andy Ruiz. Look, it says, Andy Ruiz, stick to boxing, brother. Leave the dancing alone. And he's he's calling this this obese dude Andy Ruiz, and he doing all these taunts and look. He said this is Andy Ruiz trying to get in his car. Andy Ruiz, you need to chill, bro. You need to chill, chill, fast car. And you weren't fighting Andy Ruiz. Why are you doing all this? You know what I'm saying? So you post all these memes and you know all these fat guys dancing. <laughs> You know what I mean? And then nonstop Deontay Wilder post. Look, Deontay, here's one post, two posts. He says, pathetic. He says, Wilder, biggest coward around, coward, right? And you saying all that, look, another Wilder post. 
There you go, you lying coward. Look, another Wilder post. See, you posting Wilder having fun, like, dancing and twerking and stuff. Who, the UK energy is looking weird, bro. I'm just telling you what it is, bro. Look, how many posts you got about the same person, and you never fought Wilder. You were never scheduled to fight Wilder. You never scheduled to fight Andy Ruiz, you know? And he said he did have sex with one of my side things, you know? And then, look, another Andy Ruiz post. No smoke, typical coward move. Fake Mexican. So you called Andy Ruiz. Uh, look, it's right there. You called him a fake Mexican and fat and posting these memes and stuff. Andy Ruiz is right, just like I told you. Now we're supposed to feel sorry for you. And then D Dillian White should just be chilling with his family and spending time. It's like, look, another Andy Ruiz post. Imagine that. Another Wilder post. He, he wrote coward over it. Again, this is a bad look. This is the UK energy. This is what they enjoy. Look, another Wilder post. And he keep calling everybody cowards and look, B-I-T-C-H. And then when you get knocked out, people are supposed to like leave you alone and give you credit for whatever because you knock Povetkin down. It's not how you start a fight. It's how you finish. Listen, speaking of finish, that UK energy, it's not going to look another another wilder post what an absolute weapon a tool hashtag complete tool so why is dillian white now claiming that people need to back off him and people are gloating when he loses look i i just seen some i thought i seen luis ortiz look he posting gerald miller it's just non-stop he called luis ortiz an old man and you got knocked out by someone look wilder another wilder post you got knocked out by somebody who's the same age as pavekin WBC Wilder still waiting for my shot to this day joke fight to this day so he said Brazil is a joke fight but Brazil called out Dillian White and he didn't fight it bro it's it's looking over it's looking over you know that UK energy is it's is found out look he putting donkeys on people he talked bad about Derek Chisora I mean and then now you want people to show you mercy and have compassion people People don't forget. Look, he talking about Fury. It's just nonstop. And then he was laughing at Wilder after he lost and said Wilder was trash talking. Wilder wasn't doing all of this, bro. He was, if you, bro, I'll show you Wilder's page right now. Deontay Wilder's page. I follow him, you know? Look, he got almost 3 million followers. And look, you don't see him talking about, look, he he's bigging up a fight. Man, I'm looking forward to this, watching this one. One of the best in the division it's about to go down. Look, he big enough a fight. He with the Pope. That's his actual opponent. Look, he ain't posting a bunch of Dillian White memes and posts. He posting big enough people like Errol Spence. You're in our prayers, brother. Errol Spence after the accident, obviously. So Dillian White is the one that was doing this. And now he went, look, where you see that? Look, this is Wilder in the UK showing love. He said the champ is here. He wasn't disrespecting. The only person he, I guess, you, look, he with another fighter. He says, Adam Kaunaki, when he was undefeated, is he says, keep it up. We will be knocking at, you're at, knocking at the door for a title shot. You see? He not roasting and saying, oh, Adam Kaunaki, you da -da -da -da, you fat boy and this and that. Woo -woo. Look, there's Andy Ruiz. A huge congrats to you, Andy Ruiz. So after Andy Ruiz knocked out Joshua in quote unquote upset fashion, even though I picked Andy Ruiz, seven reasons, check it on the channel. He gave him a shout out. He said, blessings. There are many perks that come behind this. You became the first Mexican heavyweight champion. So what is Dillian White talking about? He said, Wilder talked so much crap. He didn't. He just talked about the UK dudes like Fury. He said uh, he a, f a fake preacher and won't, won't, won't Joshua. And Dillian White only when he was asked about it. He's not in set obsessed with that. He's look, he's speaking to the youth and firefighters and stuff. He wasn't worried about that. The the person he attacked the most, I guess, was um Joshua. And that's because he just wanted to fight. And, and then everyone else were people he was fighting. Like when he got in the ring and Luis Ortiz and him started yelling at each other. See, look, he posting family pictures. Dillian White, he looked obsessed. Look, I finally found. I finally found one. 
about Joshua, but you've seen how many weren't about Joshua. Look, he posting little kid. It's a regular page. It, listen, that UK energy, they can keep that over there, bro. It's looking, it's looking real weird. So shout out to Andy Ruiz. I agree with him wholeheartedly. Dillian White in the UK, they're now doing damage control, saying, oh, Dillian White could have went into hiding. He needs to go into hiding and just chill out. Bro, he's doing all these interviews, you know, for what? What is the point? Just rest up. If you can beat Pavek and beat him. But they think this is the UK energy, bro. Him doing interviews. People aren't really checking for what he wants to what he's talking about he should just chill out rest up stuff like that it was a bad knockout loss just recover from it you know at times people like dillian white makes you respect guys like deontay wilder that much more if you didn't already because deontay wilder he took his loss and then people claim he made a bunch of excuses but he's not all in the video all in the camera he's just chilling i like the fact that wilder's been quiet i like that because he's just minding his business enjoying his world and then when it comes time to speak he's gonna speak period and i got a video about that let me know what you guys think drop your thoughts in the comment section shout out to andy ruiz and also wilder american champions let's get it what up fight world it's your boy ego and i'm back with some more sports get unlimited access to premium content with an espn plus subscription espn plus offers a variety of content including specials behind the scenes docu-series like Bruce Lee's Be Water and much more. With an ESPN Plus subscription, you get access to a ton of classic archive fights and replays from boxing and the UFC. Big names like, hi, I'm Mike Tyson. Come and watch my fight. Floyd Mayweather, easy work. I'm rich. And Manny Pacquiao. Uh, yes, it's up to my promoter. Do, 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 do. Just to name a few. If that's not enough, you could get the ESPN bundle, which includes ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All three apps, one low price. You don't want to miss out. Make sure you guys click that link in the description box of all of my videos. Ego, signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.